Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSplyShop.com bringing you a video today. This is a remake of an old pattern that I did a long time ago and um, I just like this pattern better than my old one so I'm going to do it. Uh, recently I've been seeing a lot of pictures of guys posting pictures on Instagram of little black stones and they're beginner guys and they're asking what this fly is. Uh, early stones, little black stones, whatever you call them in your area. Um, it's just a real tiny, skinny, black stone fly that comes off in the winter time. And uh, we're set, I actually had one on the curtain of my studio here the other day. And I uh, went looking for it to try to take a picture of it to show you, but I couldn't find it. But um, just look up early stone or little black stone on Google. You'll see pictures of them. You'll see what I mean. But this is my lively legs imitation of them. Uh, I haven't done a livey leg video for a while, so I figured I'd share one of them with you. And the new way that I tie this, as I tie and as I progress, you know, in my fishing and my tying, everything for me gets simpler and simpler. And my old pattern, there was a lot of steps to it, a lot of pieces to it. And this, I just chopped it down and tied it like my hotspot stone, actually. So, um, it's just a lot simpler way to tie it, and uh, it makes a great looking pattern. So here you go, here it is in the vise and then the material list to tie it. Alright, here you see the fly. Really cool looking, really thin. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm using a 718 fire hole. This is a size 16. I'm going to tie it in a video, but I'm going to put the material as if I'm tying it in an 18. I'm going to tie it in a 16 and an 18 as the two sizes. And uh, 18, probably a little closer. For a bead, I'm using a 2.5 black bead from fire hole. And then for thread, I'm using some 140 denier black thread. And we're just going to start that on, and I'm going to wrap it back to the bend. And when I get back to the bend, I'm going to put my finger there, and I'm just going to make a nice little dam of thread, a little ball that's going to splay my biots out. Don't want to go too big, uh, but there you see, it just got a nice little bump. Next thing I'm going to put on is some black um, goose by it, stripped goose by it. And I'm just going to put one down each side. And I want them to go about the length of the body, a little bit shorter, between half and about three quarters of the length. Alright, and then I'm just going to set the other one on the other side, wrap it in place loosely get it to the length I need and the angle I want and then tie it down and then as you wrap it back to that ball it pops them out real nice there and splays them real nice then we're just going to cut them off and smooth out my body now I'm going to bring my thread up here to the to the bead and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my lively legs on these are small or micro lively legs and I'm just gonna take the front two what I'm gonna do is here you see a whole one I'm gonna just take and cut the tag and the back two legs off so you have this left over and we're just gonna set this on top right in there behind that bead I'm gonna make a couple loose wraps around the legs around the front legs and then I gotta start this out loosely and even a little bit towards my side if I'm wrapping away from me. And then once I get it wrapped into place, then I'm gonna cinch it down a little tighter. Okay, so now I have my legs wrapped on top. Now what we're gonna do is the body material. And this is midge black D-rib, or vinyl rib. And it's hard to see because it's small, but there is a flat side and a humped side hence the D so it looks like a D I want to tie it with the flat side up and I want to get it started on top here I'm going to wrap it back to that tail and then what I like to do is I like to wrap my thread up in between them two legs and then I'm just going to wrap this forward 
giving me a nice thin ribbed body here and then I'm just going to wrap right in behind them legs and then I'm going to tie it off in between the two legs you're going to cover it up with dubbing so it's not a big deal to do it that way it's just a little bit easier now I'm using some SLF prism and this is black you use any dark color but this has a, a nice little bit of pur or a purple mixed in with it so it gives it a little flash and we're just going to make that nice thin noodle here and we're going to figure eight it around them legs so I get those legs all covered up we're going to go behind it under it, around it and same thing with the front ones all right, there you see I got it all nice and covered well so now I'm just gonna put a wing case on this for the wing case I'm just gonna use two more biots it's easy to do it this way I'm just gonna put them in a V lay them right on top and I want them to go just right behind the legs in length I'm gonna wrap two or three times loose and then tie it down tight when I get it where I want it and then we're just going to whip finish and that's all that's to this fly like I said my last little black stone fly video was very complicated putting two wing cases on it and just a whole lot of steps that's not needed when you can tie it real, real, real quick and simple like this so there you go that only took me like five minutes talking even so all right guys, I hope you like that. Like I said, simple little pattern, just a variation of what I tied before. A lot simpler variation with um, with a lot less steps to it. So give it a try, um, tie it small. They're very skinny. Remember, that's the key to these little black stones is they're very, very thin. And so you have to keep the profile of yours very thin. When you get up there in your, um, in your abdomen and stuff, keep it thin. So, uh, have fun, guys. If you have any questions, as always, you can email me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. Uh, if you'd like to buy some of these flies, you can email me for that, too. And uh, as always, any of the material you need to tie, you can find it on our website at wholesingersflyshop.com. And we have a link to all the materials down in the bottom. So thanks for watching, guys. Until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.